Hey everybody, it is Monday night at 7.30 and so that means it's time for another Bible Bedtime Stories. We are going to be reading from the Jesus Storybook Bible tonight. And as I was looking for a story, I actually found a section of this book that I hadn't looked at before. And what it is, is it tells a little bit about why the Bible exists. So I thought we'd read that tonight. It's called The Story and the Song. It comes from Psalm 19 and Hebrews 1. The heavens are singing about how great God is, and the skies are shouting it out. See what God has made. Day after day and night after night, they are speaking to us. God wrote, I love you. He wrote it in the sky and on earth and under the sea. He wrote his message everywhere. Because God created everything in his world to reflect him like a mirror. To show us what he's like and to help us to know him and to make our hearts sing. The way a kitten chases her tail, the way red poppies grow wild, the way a dolphin swims. And God put into words, too, how much he loves us. Matter of fact, he wrote it in a book called the Bible. Now, some people think that the Bible is a book of rules telling you what you should and what you shouldn't do. Well, the Bible certainly does have some rules in it, but they show you how life works best. The Bible isn't mainly about you and what you should be doing. It's about God and what he has done. Other people think the Bible is a book of heroes, showing you people that you should copy. The Bible does have some heroes in it, but as you'll soon find out, most of the people in the Bible aren't heroes at all. They made some big mistakes, sometimes on purpose. They get afraid and they run away, and at times, some of them are just downright mean. You know, the Bible isn't a book of rules or a book of heroes. The Bible is a story. It's an adventure story about a young hero who comes from a far country to win back his lost treasure. It's a love story about a brave prince who leaves his palace, his throne, everything to rescue the one he loves. It's like the most wonderful of fairy tales that has come true in real life. You see, the best thing about this story is it's true. There are lots of stories in the Bible, but all of the stories are telling one big story. The story of how God loves his children and how he's come to rescue them. It takes the whole Bible to tell this story. And in the center of the story, there's a baby. Every story in the Bible whispers his name. He's like the missing piece in a puzzle, the piece that makes all of the other pieces fit. Suddenly, you can see the picture. And this is no ordinary baby. This is the child upon whom everything else would depend. This is the child who would one day, but wait, our story starts where all good stories start, right at the very beginning. And right at the very beginning of the Bible, we learn how God created the whole world. 
how he created light and dark, day and night, plants and animals, birds and fish, and finally how he created human beings. And over the next couple of days, I think I'm gonna go back to some of those stories so that we can hear them. Because God created this world and he created it perfect, but it didn't stay that way. Because that sneaky old devil came in and he tempted Adam and Eve to follow him instead of believing what God had told them. And because of that, we have sin in this world. And we've seen what sin can do to God's perfect world. We don't treat each other the way we should. We don't do the things we should. We don't take care of the earth the way we should. But God had a remedy for that too. He sent his son, that baby, to come and to save us and to make everything new again. So I hope that as you're thinking about the Bible, you look at it as a love story from God, a story that he is telling to us, but he's inviting us to be a part of. He invites us to be a part of his story, and he becomes a part of our story. So tonight, I hope that you have the opportunity with your family to maybe read another story before you go to bed, another one of God's love stories to you. So as we start this new week, I hope that you are enjoying the warm weather, actually the beautiful weather. I hope you got outside today. The sun was shining and there was a beautiful breeze that was blowing all day long. I think that it's supposed to get kind of yucky towards the end of the week with some storms. So get outside while you can. And tonight, all that we have left to do is to say our prayers and then you can scoot off to bed. So if you would pray with me. Dear Jesus, thank you for today and for all of the things that you give to us. God the Father made the earth and he created everything good. Help us to follow your leading so that we can be more and more like you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you all have a great night and a great day tomorrow. I will see you again Wednesday night with another Bible bedtime story. Until then, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Have a great night, everybody.